Good day, how's it going? Let's take a look at the high grade draw C from Gundam 0083, Stardust Memory. This is a model kit from 2011 that depicts this very unusual Xeon mobile suit. If you don't remember seeing this guy in the anime, then don't fret because I didn't either. There are a lot of different mobile suits in that series, and the Draw C was one of many strange atrocities that the Xeon forces deployed. If this guy doesn't look weird enough to you, then there's also the pink version featured in Gundam Unicorn, which was released as a P Bandai kit. The Draw C was requested by Ikasris. Ika I'm sorry, man. And it was one of two kits that I got in my 0083 themed order. This kit comes in a standard size high grade box and it includes five runners for the mobile suit with an additional clear runner for the stand. There's the usual poly caps and beam saber effect pieces, along with a color correcting sticker sheet and a clear sticker sheet for some kind of decals. I won't be using either one as I tacked on some Xeon themed water slide decals to my order. So the build of the draw C is pretty enjoyable. It's a lot of sandwiching big pieces together and then doing some additional detail work. Every part of this model is kind of like its own unique challenge. The backpack needs a lot of gray and black detailing. The shoulder balls need red inside. The head requires a black line throughout. And the leg things, well, they're interesting. <laughs> the draw C has uh, large things where the legs would normally go. This is the part of the model that will make or break it for you. There's no denying how strange this looks, especially because of how tall these pieces are. The assembly here is nothing more than putting two big things together with a couple other pieces inside. This leaves a seam line, but honestly, it's not that bad. What is bad are the nub marks. Each piece has five or six nubs each, and I left some disgusting and shameful <laughs> stress marks behind. I gotta say, this model is great if you're tired of the same old, same old. In the lore, the draw C was made of junked Zakus and stuff. So when you're building the kit, you feel like you're combining elements of different recycled machines together to create something interesting. I loved putting the water slide decals on. When you get something like this, you get to just use your own creativity and it's fun, you know, you cut them out, you dip them in the water. It's, it's a really fun process and I enjoy it a lot. I finished this model with my matte top coat of choice, Mr. Super Smooth Clear. When I ran out, I took an emergency trip to the hobby shop and got Mr. Hobby Premium Top Coat. The Draw C is a mobile suit made for space combat, so it ain't standing up. Bandai included a very necessary stand, which is a bit similar to the one in the gob... Uh, this ugly ass thing. The stand just barely gets the legs off the ground. It can move the mobile suit up and down and side to side. For articulation, this kit can look up quite a bit, which is necessary for these sort of flying poses. The arms are on a ball joint and a poly cap with a bit of a swing out. The arm spins around and bends at the elbow. There's absolutely no torso movement, but the kit can move side to side from the hips. The leg things, I'm just gonna call them that, are on a ball joint, just like the wing things on the backpack. So naturally this kit is limited in terms of posability, but I'm pretty sure you could tell when you look at it. For accessories, Bandai put in a little bang for your buck. The right arm has this weird little gun thing going, but you can also change it out for a standard arm. What sucks though is the way that you switch the arms. The joint inside connects in such a way that you have to split the arm in half. You can't just slide it in and out. So if you glue the arm together to remove the seam line, too bad, you're stuck with it. Honestly, I don't know why they couldn't have just thrown in another joint which would make switching the arms a lot easier and would make it so if you put in that extra work you don't have to desecrate what you did. On a positive note, there is a chain gun included which looks kinda cool. You can use it with this kit or give it to another compatible Xeon high grade. You need to have a kit with a peg in the palm of its firing hand, which the Yegadoga has. This mobile suit's really big though, so the gun looks 
kind of weird. I don't have any other compatible kits to show, but the instructions depict it working with the Zaku F2 high grade. Moving along, the draw C includes a shield, which mounts on the back of the arm. You can put a beam effect piece in here, and in case you're wondering, there's also a beam which goes into the gun head. I'm sure you're curious how big this guy is. Well, here he is next to the standard size gun cannon, and another kit on a stand, the RG RX-78. Ah oh shit, it's the boys in blue. The draw C takes up almost as much space on the shelf as a normal size master grade. It's an awkward kit to display because it's kind of like the mullet of the Gundam world. Business up front, and party in the back. The lines and implied motion of this kit are very unique. There's a sense of a fast mobile suit that zips around in space. When viewed from the back, it's pretty awesome. Like, look how cool this looks. If you want to make it look more cursed, then you can take it off the stand and straighten out the leg things. <laughs> it's taller than a normal master grade. This is downright unholy. <laughs> I guess that's what Van Halen meant by drop dead legs. Oh man. Overall, the Drossy is a pretty unique kit. It's weird, a bit hard to display and all, but the build was fun and I really enjoyed detail painting it. The blue looks awesome. I totally don't have a thing for blue kits and blue haired characters that just happen to be Vest Girl. <laughs> And the included chain gun is a certain bonus. This is a niche Gundam kit for sure. It's something you get if you want an oddity. I don't know where it's gonna go, but I'm happy I built it. What you see is what you get. If you like the design, you're gonna love this kit. You know, at first I thought, wow, this thing's stupid and ugly. But the more I looked at it, the more I found things to like about it. So that's all I gotta say in this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want, and you can check me out on Instagram at Egg Farm. I post updates and other kind of nonsense on there. Okay, I'll see you next time. God, how do you say that name? Is it like Icarus, Casarus, Casarol, Fighter Icarus?